We're starting into, into chapter six. six. Chapter six is all about polygons. So in our opener, we came up with a pretty good, a pretty good de uh, definition of, of what a polygon is. We said we had to have uh, straight sides. So our sides, we could say are segments. So our sides are segments. Um, we said it had to be closed. We said it was two dimensional or in the plane. And we said it had to have three or more sides. So this is this is our polygon. And one other one other thing that I wanted to um, what a couple of things that I wanted to mention. Um, what we, where the two where two sides come together? What do we call two si where the two sides come together? A vertex, just like we've talked about with triangle. Two, two sides come together at a vertex. Um, we can have, there, there are a couple of different kinds of polygons. If they look like this, we call this kind of polygon convex. And if we have a polygon that looks I drew, like the one I drew on the board, Something like that would be a concave polygon. Right, we, we can connect two sides and get a line that's outside the polygon. So we call this concave. We're go going to be mostly interested in convex polygons. <coughs> and what we're interested in now is um, how to find what the angles all these angles inside a polygon add up to. So when we have a polygon, let me draw up here what we're talking about. Um, I'll just pick one, and it doesn't have to be doesn't have to be this kind of polygon. Oops, I don't want that. And do. There we go. Um, we are talking about, right now, we're talking about these angles in here, which we call an interior angle. So we want to figure out how, we want to figure out how big the interior angles of a polygon are. And there's kind of a nice way that we can do it. So let me, we're gonna, we're gonna try to come up with an idea uh, based on drawing our drawing our polygons, so let's start with a <coughs> with a triangle. <coughs> and we're going to make a little chart here. All right, so our triangle, how many sides does our triangle have? Three. How many triangles are there? How many triangles do we have? One. And what are our angles add up to? 180. All right, now I'm going to draw a, a four-sided four polygon. You know what we call a four-sided polygon? Quadrilateral. It doesn't have to be um, doesn't have to be a square. So let me undo that and let me just draw some some quadrilateral. And here's where we um, here's where we're going to be tricky. I'm going to start at one vertex and do this. Now, can we all agree that if I added this angle, this angle, this angle? all the angles inside this triangle, 
this angle, that angle, and that angle, all the angles inside the other triangle, then we would add, we would be adding up all the angles inside that quadrilateral. We're getting all the angles, right? There's nothing left other than the angles inside the triangle. Okay? So let me write over here, this is a quadrilateral. How many sides does a quadrilateral have? Four. How many triangles do I have here? Two. Two? What do the angles all add up to? 360. All right. Let me draw another one. I'm going to move it over here a little bit. And what do we call this kind of uh, polygon? Uh, pentagon. pentagon. How many sides? Five. And let me do this. I'm going to just pick a vertex and I'm going to draw a line to each vertex that I can cross onto the inside. How many triangles do I have there? Well, if I keep going, then I just get along the side here. I d I'm just picking one vertex. Just pick one vertex. I'm just picking one. So uh, three triangles. All the angles inside the triangles add up to um, add up to the all the angles inside the pentagon. So what do I get for the angles inside a pentagon? What it what are they going to add up to? By forty. Are we starting to see a pattern here? Let me draw another one. Let me get rid of that <coughs> tiny one there. There we go. What do we call this kind of polygon? Hexagon. And I'm going to pick one vertex and draw triangles. How many sides does hexagon have? Six. Six. How many triangles? Four. And four triangles, all the angles inside of four triangles add up to 720. All right, do we see the pattern? How are the triangles, the number of triangles related to the number of sides? Two less than the sides. What is happening to these angles every time I add a side? increasing by 180. So if I have one triangle, I have 180 degrees inside my polygon. If I have two triangles inside my polygon, I have 360, 3, 540, 4, and 720. If we repeat this pattern, and we're going to say an n gon is just a polygon with n sides. I'm going to have n sides. Re following this pattern, how many triangles would I be able to divide it into starting at one vertex? N minus, n minus 2, 2 less than that. And to find out how many angles are inside, what am I going to do with this n minus 2? Multiply it by 180. That's how we figure out what all of the angles, all of the interior angles of a polygon add up to. Subtract the number, subtract 2 from the number of sides and multiply by 180. So let's write that, let's write that out. The sum, the sum means all together of the interior angles of a polygon with n sides is 
n minus 2 times 108. So we can always figure out how many, what the, what the angles inside any polygon add up to. So triangle is 180, quadrilateral 360. We can keep going every time we add a side. We add 180 degrees to what are what all the angles inside add up to. The key, the words that you'll see when you have a problem that has to do with all of the angles added together. When you see the word sum, when you see the word all, when you see total, um, all together. These words are going to give you a clue that the problem is asking you about all of the interior angles added together. Say the sum, it'll say all, it'll say total, it'll say together. And this comes from repeating that pattern that we just talked about. So questions there. It's kind of a nice, nice little trick dividing our, our polygon into triangles. Because triangles are nice and friendly. All right, let's talk really quickly about what we mean by a a regular polygon. What would you guess we mean by a regular polygon? All sides and all, so, uh, all angles. So a regular polygon that we've talked about already is an equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle is a regular polygon. So for a regular polygon, we know that all of the angles are the same. So if our polygon has three sides, how many angles is going to be in the polygon? Three. three. Let's go back here. Four sides, how many angles are in the polygon? Four. Pentagon, how many angles? Five. So there's the same number of sides as angles, right? If all of the angles are the same, and all of them together add up to this, how would we find what one of them is? Divide by, not, well, if, if we're talking about a triangle, divide by the number of angles or the number of sides. So for a regular polygon, so we're talking about a regular polygon here. The measure of one interior angle is, and we're going to take this equation, n minus, or this expression, n minus 2 times 180 divided by n. So that's how we figure out for a regular polygon, if all the sides and all the angles are the same, for a regular polygon we can figure out what the measure of one interior angle is. So we figured out how to figure out how, how to decide what all of them are together, and we can figure out what one of them is if we have a regular polygon. The keywords that you'll see if you're talking about one angle, it'll say one, it will say and, it will say each, um, one and each, what would be another word you might hear? Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much one and each. Uh, so those, those words that tell you that you're talking about one angle, that's when you would use this formula, n minus 2 times 180 divided by that. The top part gives you all of them added together, and then we divide by how, however many of them we have to figure out what 1 is.
All right, let's look at a couple of examples of using these formulas. And then we'll talk about the exterior angles. Make sure we're doing okay. Find this. Okay. Then we'll talk about the exterior angles. So right now we're talking about the interior angles and the sum or one. So here's here's my first example. Uh, we want the sum of the interior angles of a 10 gong. This is just the generic way we name polygons without having special special names for their sides. Um, Anybody know what it, what's another what's another name we could call a tengon? Decagon. We call it a decagon. So the problem says what is the sum? Sum is asking us for one or for all of them together. All we want all of them. So we're going to use the formula n minus two times one eighty. And for this, n is just the number of sides. So we plug in 10 minus 2 is 8 times 180. And when we calculate that out, 8 times 180 is 1440 degrees. So nice, nice easy calculation. Questions there? All right, let's look at another one. Uh, the measure of each interior angle of a, uh, what do I want to do this time? A 12 gun. Anybody know the name of a, the other name for a 12 gong? Dodecagon. I don't think 11 has a special name. Um, so the measure of each interior angle of a 12 gong, a dodecagon. So this problem is asking us for all together or just one? Just one. We need the measure of one. So we're going to use one angle, and we need to know that this is, we would need to know this is regular. A regular 12 gun. We can't use the formula that's not regular. So we want one angle. So we're going to use n minus 2 times 180 divided by n. And here n is 12. So we're just going to plug that in. We're going to do 12 minus 2 times 180 divided by 12. So we get 10 times 180 divided by 12. 10 times 180 is 1800 divided by 12. And we finally get 150 degrees. So each interior angle of a regular 12 gong, so if, we, if I drew a couple of the sides, that would be 105 degrees for each of those sides. 100, did I switch around 150? Thank you. 150 degrees. And my drawing's not too scale, but you get the idea. That's where our interior angle is. on that example. Okay, let's look at another one, another type of problem you would see having to do with angles of polygons. I love figuring out about angles of polygons. It's kind of a nice, nice thing to be able to figure out that just from the number of sides. Um, here's my picture.
not drawn to scale. And we want to find x. We need to know what that what that angle measures. What can we do here? So we could find we could fi figure out the uh, number of triangles we are, we already kind of kind of did that. So what what do you think? Right. Total, total of all the angles because we know how many sides we have, right? We can figure out the total and then add up all the angles that we have and subtract from what the total has to be. Perfect. So how many sides do we have? Five. So all the angles together Do you remember what uh, what five sides, what a pentagon, all the angles in a pentagon add to? 540. 540. If we didn't remember that, we could do 5 minus 2 times 180 degrees. If we, if we couldn't remember to get 540. And then we add all these together, the ones that we have. So we have, I'll just write it all out, uh, 105 plus this one is how many degrees? 90, the little square means 90, plus 95 plus 100 plus x has to equal 540. So I'm just adding, doing, doing what Ryan said, but uh, just showing, showing how we'd write it with, uh, with an equation. So what do these come up to? What do these add to? 290? Are we sure? 100 plus 105 plus 90 is already over 290. So what does it come out to? 390. There we go. 390 plus x. Just a little arithmetic there. Uh, divide by, or sorry, subtract 390. So this is what Ryan said to do, find the total, subtract all of them together. So x is um, 150 degrees. So that's the other kind of problem that you might be asked to do having to do with, um, with polygon. Let's find one angle if we know all the other angles. So it's just like we did with the triangle sum. If we know all the angles but one, we can subtract from 180. Well, now we know how to figure out what the, all the angles inside any polygon add up to. So if we know all of them but one, we just subtract from whatever the total has to be. Questions there? Okay. Um, next one's a little trickier. The... interior angle of a regular polygon is 108 degrees. How many sides does it have? So how can we solve this problem? All right, first off, let's, let's think about it. Is it telling us about one angle or all of them together? One angle. So we have one angle. So that narrows down the formulas that we're gonna use. We know that our formula for one angle is n minus 2 times 180 
divided by n. One angle is that. What does the problem tell us this one angle equals? Equal to 108 degrees. So one angle, this is one angle, is 108. And this will let us find n. So, so what do we do? How do we, what's our first step in solving this, solving this equation? We want to get n by itself. What don't we like about this equation the way it's written? I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't like the n in the denominator, so we're going to multiply both sides by n to get that n out of the denominator. So these, when I do that, those cancel, and I get n minus 2 times 180 equals 108n. Now what do I need to do with these parentheses? I need to distribute. So I'm going to do this. 180 times n, I can just write as 180n. 180 times negative 2 is minus 360 equals 108n. Now we're, now we're almost home free. What do I do to solve this now? How do I get all the n's together? Uh, do I minus 360? Add 360 because this is mine, so I'm going to add 360. So we get 180n equals 108n plus 360. Now minus 108n. 180 minus 108 is 72n equals 360. Divide by 72, and I get n equals 5. So we knew what one angle was, so we set our equation, our formula, for one angle equal to that angle that we had. And we had to go through this process to solve for, solve for n. So this, this kind of problem, a little tricky, but it's not too bad. Not too bad. So this would be a five-sided polygon or a pentagon. All right, questions there? All right, we need to talk about um, exterior angles next. talked about exterior angles of triangles. Now we're going to talk about exterior angles of polygons. So let me draw a polygon, a uh, simple polygon, and we will talk about where the exterior angles are. We get the exterior angles from extending the sides one side from each vertex. So I'm going to extend the side here. So these are exterior angles. So we, we extend one side at each vertex and we get the exterior angles. So what I want to do for these is imagine, imagine th that you're standing at this vertex and you're facing along this segment that is um, pointing to where this, where we, where we're measuring this exterior angle. And then you walk along this segment. And then you turn here and you walk along this segment. Turn here, walk along this segment. Turn here, walk along this segment and then turn back here. Are you going to be facing, which direction are you going to be facing? Are you going to be facing a different direction than where you started? So I've walked all the way around the outside, and I, end, I start here, and I walk all the way around, and I turn all the way around, and I end up facing the same direction? 
How many degrees have I turned through? 360. And if you think about any polygon, if I walk along the outside of the polygon and back to where I started, you're always going to end up facing the same direction. Well, that's kind of a little thought experiment to get us to our sum for the, our exterior angles. The exterior angles of any polygon doesn't have to be regular. Um, always add to 360 degrees. So the sum of the exterior angles of any polygon is 360 degrees. So the interior angles, the interior angles depend on the number of sides. The exterior angles, the sum is always 360 degrees. And for a regular polygon, what did we say regular meant when we're talking about a polygon? All sides and angles are the same. For a regular polygon, one exterior angle. What do we do with our total to get one? The total is 360. Divide by the number of sides. Where n is our number of sides. So the exterior angles are pretty, pretty nice because the sum is always 360, no matter what. No matter what kind of polygon I have, the sum of the exterior angles is always 360. So to find one interior angle, um, divide by the number of sides. Now let me give you a little hint here, something that might help you out on some of these problems. So if this is an exterior angle, this that I put in blue is an interior angle. What do we know about the interior and exterior angle there? they add to 180. The exterior and interior angles are supplementary. So sometimes it's easier to find the exterior angle because they always add up to 360. It's easier to find an exterior angle and then find the interior angle by subtracting from 180. So that, that's a little shortcut that you can use on some of these problems. The exterior angle sometimes is easier to find because the formula is way less complicated, right? It's, this is a less complicated than n minus 2 times 180 divided by n. So you can find the exterior angle, subtract from 180, and you get your interior angle. So sometimes that's a nice little shortcut. Um, all right, let's look at uh, let's look at an example using exterior angles, and then we'll be done. Uh, the exterior angle. The exterior angle of a regular polygon is 30 degrees. And this word regular is in a clue here. Um, we want to know how many sides. Well, 
Well, what do what do that? What do all the sides of a regular polygon add to, or all the angles? All angles add to 360. So how do we? And we know that one is 30. So how do we figure out how many sides we have? We know that 360 divided by n equals 30 degrees. So we want to solve for n here. Same process. Multiply by n. Those cancel. So I get 360 equals 30 times n. Divide by 30. And I get n equals 12. 12 sides. This would be a 12-sided polygon. So all of the exterior angles, the sum of the exterior angles is always 360. We have a regular polygon. We can divide by the number of sides. And here we just saw if we know the angle, we can divide by the angle and get the, get the number of sides. It kind of works, works either way. All right, questions? All right, homework. Page uh, 356. All right, so page 366, 356, number 8 through 20 even, 24, 26, 30 through 36 even, and the 6.1 uh, dynamic activity. 